Hi, this is a video to present you the Vilban Ultrac 53Q travel tripod model. Here. It's not very easy to find outside of Japan, but if you pressure your distributor enough, probably it will get easier. But definitely, this is way better than any other travel tripod that you could find on the market today. Namely, the Manfrotto B3, the Tikito, etc. The Ultrac 53Q comes in a small bag like this, pretty handy and quite robust. It's not going to rip at the first usage. And here is the tripod. As you can see, this thing is extremely small. It's extremely compact. It's a bit heavy, but very, very light still compared to many, many other tri tripods. To give you an idea, this is a Gorilla Pod for mirrorless cameras, one of the biggest Gorilla Pods. It's barely shorter, it's much lighter, so. so this Velbon Ultra 53Q that you could find also with other references is folded like this. The legs are coming on the other side. And as you can see, here, there is a locker, a locking mechanism that you can use to put the legs in the right position for your usage. And then they are securely locked in the position you wish. You can change the angle by changing the position of the lock. Then there is a locking, me locking mechanism for the legs. One click, you push and you screw again. Several clicks, several segments. Less clicks, less segments. This can look pretty disturbing at the beginning because it's very different from the usual, you know, screwing mechanisms without a, a click or with the, uh, the levers. But in fact, this is pretty quick to use. And then you are on the field and ready to take a picture. As you can see, even with this, this is already pretty high. I have yes to uh, go down a little bit to view, but not that much. And if you want it to be a little bit taller, you still have another level of size increase. As you can see here, it's barely, uh, it's uh, even a little bit too tall for me and I'm 175. Then you have here, excellent news, the ball head. The ball head is a very good one. I'm not uh, buying $300 ball heads, etc. But this one, definitely nothing to say, nothing bad to say about it. It's just exactly what I need. One screw to manage the uh, horizontal uh, movement, and one other for the ball head itself, with a hole for the portrait mode. The plate itself. It's a standard plate, no need to have a coin to unscrew it, it's integrated and there is a locking mechanism here so that you push and it's locked. You also have what many other brands sell you as an option for the higher models, a bevel level. This, even two, three bevel levels. This should be normal in any tripod, but guess what? I mean, many, many brands, they, they decide to make it for higher end tripods. What if you want to make it a very short, low level, low, lower uh, pictures with macro shots of the ground? Then no problem. Just put it back to its minimal position.
and then you will have two ways of doing it. Either you don't really need to be extremely low. And then you put the legs to the maximum expansion and that's about it. This is not very, very low. This is about 40 centimeters of, of the ground. So not that low. But then if you really want to go low and have a maximum view of the, uh, the scene, then you just need to invert two legs and then you have a tripod that is going as low as you want with legs that are helping you and it's pretty, pretty well balanced and it will be sturdy. One thing about this tripod, it is very sturdy. No way, no way wind will pose a problem no problem at all with any kind of vibration uh, so even with a heavier camera even with a DSLR with a you know, 50 to 100 uh, telephoto lens not maybe the biggest one but this one is extremely sturdy and has no problem handling any cameras so that's about it for the tripod for the Velbond Ultrac 53Q I hope this has been useful and definitely push your retailer to get those in your stores. Thank you.